Hey guys, so this is just another day in the life of a targeted individual. So, you know, you all know by now that um, guests are not allowed to come in here and, you know, necessary staff can come in, caregivers can come in, but they all need to wear masks, right? They need to wear masks. Nobody who comes in from outside um, can, can come in if they're not wearing a face mask. You know, the residents aren't required to and the, the people who live here permanently aren't required to. I do anyway when I go out of the apartment only because, um, you know, the perpetrators swarm me when I go downstairs, when I go to do laundry. You know, in the elevator, they will swarm me. Uh, they're told to. They're told, I think they're told, hey, they're, you know, they're, they're the target goes, get in the elevator right now. You know, the problem is they're coming from outside, so they could be sick. And even though they're wearing masks, that's not 100% effective. You know, it's it's good to wear, but it's not 100%. So they could actually get me sick and I can get my mom sick. So, you know, even, you know, we all have to wear masks. And even though technically I don't because I, I live here and I haven't left the, the building, I haven't gone outside since the lockdown started, I do wear the, ma the face mask when I, um, when I go down to get the mail or when I go to do the laundry or if I have to, you know, do something outside of the apartment, except, you know, except if I'm just going to take the garbage out or... If, you know, today I had to go and I took the garbage out and then I had to go and drop something off in a little box um, upstairs. It's, I was literally out of the apartment for less than 30 seconds. Um, but so what happened? <laughs> I should have worn the mask anyway. Um, so they sent someone to, to, to come around the corner as I walked out and she had a good look at me. And that's what they're doing right now because I made the video about, you know, not wanting to be constantly looked at and watched and, and you know, the paranoia that goes with that, that's what they're going to do even more, these six psychopathic animals. So they sent someone to come over and have a good look at me before she went into another apartment, and this was a caregiver. And then she knocked on the door of, of our next door neighbor, who then opened the door, and she said something to her, and they both looked back, to, they both looked back at me. You know, um, again, they're going to have these, these people do whatever it is they think is going to piss the target off the most, upset the target the most. And, you know, it... Being under constant surveillance and under constant watch that, you know, you become hyper aware of the fact that you're being watched, you're being surveilled, you're being spoken about, you know, you, you, it's, you know, and of course, these people are being lied to in order to, to, they have to be, you know, for, in order to get them to go along with what, what they're doing, right? And I think a lot of it too is deceit by implication, you know, things are implied, but, but not entirely, but not said outright in some cases. I mean, they, they will tell direct lies for sure. And, but, you know, and of course they'll, they'll you know, tell half truths or partial truths. Well, you know, partial truths where, you know, they'll leave out a, a, a very, you know, important part, a piece of information. And by leaving out that information, they lead people to a false conclusion, you know. Or they'll use deceit by, um, by implication. They'll, they'll imply things without coming out and saying it. And then they'll just let people come to their own conclusions. And... You know, it, but it's meant to lead people to a specific conclusion. And of course, if people already think negative, negatively of you, they're going to come to the worst conclusions. And because you're, as a target, you're denied your constitutional right to a defense and to speak on your own behalf, you're never allowed to clear things up. Okay, these, these anti-American, anti-constitution, you know, anti-human rights, and some of them, I think, probably pretend to be human rights activists, but they're not. They're denying us our constitutional right to a defense. You know, anyone who goes along with a vigilante type attack on, on someone without actually hearing that person's side from him or her is engaging in a crime. First of all, vigilante type punishment, you know, mobs, this is not even legal. But in this case, they do it without giving, without giving the target a chance to defend himself, right, or herself, without ever hearing the target's side. Um, so... All they get are the lies. All they get are the lies. And then when the target starts breaking down even more, you know, and sometimes in public, they just attribute that to the lies they've been told about the target. Oh, see, see, he's clearly a bad person. He's clearly violent. He's violent. He's clearly mentally ill, you know, mentally ill and so on and so on. They just take it as, as proof that, that, you know, the accusations against the target are true instead of the reality of the situation, which is that the target is being surrounded, swarmed, hunted, stalked, terrorized, even in his or her own home, to the point where the target finally breaks down. And, and it gives the, psychopathic, the psychopaths who are running this exactly what they want, right? Because the masses are not going to look farther than that. You know, it's not like, they're not Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> they're, not, they're not real detectives and even people who... who sign up for these detective agencies, you know, these, these, 
these lower end detective agencies are a bunch of cowards who spend the majority of their time chasing around innocent people. You know, that's what they get paid to do. Right? They, they know there's no real risk to themselves that the target probably won't be able to, won't fight back. And even if he or she tries, what can a lone target do against a mob that has been sicked on them? You know, it's pathetic. It's pathetic and it's criminal. And, you know, I, I can't believe that I'm coming to, to these conclusions. But and even having these thoughts as I've been a human rights activist all my life. And I, you know, I, I but now I'm thinking, you know, People who don't support our constitution, and that includes our right, our constitutional right to a defense, well, maybe they just don't belong here. This is, this is the point I'm coming to, because if the masses are this easily worked up against random people that they don't even know, well, that's how holocausts happen, isn't it? Because they don't bother to get the facts. They believe whatever a powerful authority figure tells them, and of course they believe they, they run with the pack. The more people who tell a lie, the, you know, the more people the lie will be, the more people who tell a lie, the more the lie will be believed, right? And then more people come into to that, that herd and start spreading the lie. So, and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do when you don't get a chance to defend yourself, when, when no one hears your side. So the half-truths continue, the, you know, the being taken out of context, that continues, that, you know, you were screaming and... Well, why were you screaming? They're going to make up their own story. They're never going to hear the truth, right? Because they're not going to give the target a chance to defend himself, tell his side or her side, right? You know, the implications that lead people to false conclusions, which they will always come to if they already think negatively of you, all of these things will stand. And it's just one thing after another after another added to the list against the target. It's, it's absolutely despicable. So, yeah, um... Today I went out for like less than 30 seconds, and I mean out of the apartment, to take the garbage out and to drop something in a box on our floor. It took me less than 30 seconds, but they got a real good look. Literally, in a matter of seconds, they sent the swarms. And then one knocked on the other door, and, and she came out to look. This is sick. This is psychotic. And they're enjoying it. This isn't just that they think they're doing the right thing. They're getting, they're getting pleasure out of it, out of feeling like... Like they're included in something, inclusion by way of exclusion, right? They're, 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 they're bonding against a common and created enemy, and they're enjoying it thoroughly. This is as primitive as anyone can get. And of course, I'm sure they're being paid for this. Anyway, just wanted to update y'all on what's going on. Peace.